Today's video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today we are going to be doing some planning for July in my bullet journal. And this one's very exciting because it's my birthday month. Um, my birthday's on July 2nd, so I am super excited to plan this month out with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started and we're gonna do our July spread first and then some planning pages after. And I'm getting out my little paint palette set that I just recently got from Sylvan Clayworks and I love it so much. It just came in um, just a couple days ago, so this is my first ever time using it. It's kind of like a little early birthday present for myself. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna start painting. So this month I really wanted to do a ocean theme. Um, and I kind of got inspired by this theme because a couple weeks ago I took my first kind of like outing outside my city to see the ocean in Half Moon Bay, which is one of my favorite places. Um, and it was just so relaxing and just like seeing the ocean got me like emotional, which is kind of crazy. That really tells you how long we've been like locked inside, <laughs> but, um, it was just so nice to get out for a little bit, even though we just looked at the ocean from our car because the beaches were filled with people and we were not about to do that. Um, it was just so nice to get out for a little bit, get some seafood to go. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what inspired this theme and I'm doing a bunch of waves. If you guys remember, I did a um, ocean kind of like tutorial last year, I believe. I think it was for the month of June and you guys really loved that tutorial. I still get tons of um, different recreations sent to me on Instagram that I absolutely love looking through. I think it's so cool that you guys are recreating my painting and I think that one is definitely my most recreated painting of anything I've ever done. Um, so I really wanted to do a, another ocean painting and this time instead of it kind of looking out on the horizon, I wanted to have the whole page filled with waves. And I know you guys can't really follow along with this painting too well because I'm speeding it up pretty fast, but it's because I'm going to be posting a whole separate tutorial video in a day or two where I'm going to talk through my entire process, give you guys the colors that I use, the methods that I used, and all the materials and everything. Um, it's gonna be kind of like a long, chatty video where I'm just gonna sit down chat with you guys and kind of walk you through my steps to do this painting. And that's what I did with my ocean painting last year and you guys really enjoyed it. So um, I kind of wanted to do the same with this one. And this is the finished painting. I think it looks so pretty with all the glimmers and everything. I just love this one so much. Um, I think you guys are gonna have a ton of fun recreating this one because it's definitely not as hard as um, it like seems it would be. So that's why I'm really excited to get that like step-by-step -step tutorial up for you guys. But yeah, I just printed out my little calendar version of the watercolor print um, on my Canon Pro 100 printer, which is semi-new. Um, I've been loving this printer over the past couple months. And from the same watercolor, I created this important date section uh, so that I can put all the important dates for the month on there. And yeah, this is the final spread for July. All right, so now that we're done with our July spread, we're going to move on to our planning pages. And I kind of want to change it up a little bit and do a different spread this month. Um, on this left page, I'm just pasting in a picture that I found on Pinterest with a little craft paper in the background. Um, and then I'm going to do this little quote on the bottom. I don't usually do quotes. I know I've said it in the past. I think they're kind of cheesy, but um, honestly, I just needed to fill the space with something and I wanted to practice my calligraphy because I haven't done calligraphy in quite a long time and I feel like I need to keep practicing or else I'll like lose it. <laughs> 
and on the right side I'm doing a July playlist spread which is basically gonna be um, all of my favorite songs and uh, I'm gonna write the artist and then I'm gonna have a little box on the right side to print out photos of the album cover um, I've seen a couple other people do this but I've never done it myself so I thought it was a good idea and on this page I'm going to start doing my weekly spread um, I'm not doing a bunch of planning pages like I used to just because I feel like I haven't really been using my bullet journal in the same way as um, when quarantine was like not a thing. <laughs> um, I just feel like everything's a little off right now and I'm not really filling my bullet journal with much except for those weekly spreads. But on the bottom I did a ocean, obviously like a little ocean drawing, and I used my blue Ecoline pen to do this, um, which is a really nice pen if you kind of want that watercolor effect. Um, and I didn't really like the left hand of the page, so if you ever run into this problem, a really good way to fix it is just to cut out like a, a page in the back of your journal and then um, make it the right sizing and everything and then just paste it over what you kind of want to cover up basically. And it pretty much looks like nothing ever happened, so I think it turned out pretty good. I used to be so scared in the beginning of making mistakes, but I feel like now I have so many different ways of kind of covering up my mistakes that I'm not too worried about it anymore, um, so it works out pretty well. And I'm gonna just do a little quote on the bottom, do a little um, gold sun, and the spread is pretty much done. Um, on the next page, I'm just doing one more page to kind of end this plan with me. And I'm just putting two pictures that I found on Pinterest and pasting them in. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I kind of wanted this as a page to write uh, like all of my favorite memories from the month or all of my uh, accomplishments that I did uh, over the course of the month and so I'm just gonna write them kind of like surrounding the picture and yeah that's pretty much it for my July um, planning spreads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and I will have the tutorial of the waves painting up very soon probably in like a day or two so definitely look out for that and I wanted to end this video by talking about Squarespace which has been such a lifesaver for creating my own website. If you guys don't know who Squarespace is they're an online platform that allows you to build your own website and make it your own. Um, I love how mine is turning out and I'm going Going to host my shop on there so i'm starting to put all my listings in there including my latest one that you guys saw in this video if you guys are looking to build your own website you can go to squarespace.com jennyjournals for a free trial and 10 percent off your first purchase thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really really liked this month's theme so i was excited to put this one up um, and yeah, if you guys want to subscribe, I'll have more videos coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!